Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Photon programming. Now in the last tutorial we saw a demonstration of the geometric progression. We, we saw do loops and by doing, by explain, explaining a geometric progression and how that works on. Okay, today we will see about the kind operator. Now before we do that, I like to you know, run this again and explain that explain the kind of phenomena that happened in the last video. I gave an initial value, uh, initial term, the value of a, the initial term to be 10 and the multiplication factor to be 10, the r value to be 10 and I gave like 12 terms into it. Okay, let me just give like 13, 15 terms to give, a, to give you guys a feel of what exactly is going on and then when I press enter, what happens is that after this particular value, okay, uh, the values turn to be completely random and chaotic. It's not random and chaotic, but the values turn out to be completely unpredictable. It's the, it's like some it's like uh, something is uh, the program crashed or something or memory happened memory something or something had to do with memory. I don't know. it may be different, but the problem is the value just turned out to be peculiarly different. Now uh, this should not happen, and uh, we suspect uh, I suspected that I mean. You guys must have been suspecting that it might be due to a program fault. Uh, not, it's not because of the program fault. It's because of uh, the memory allocation issue. Okay, I'll explain you guys what happens. See, uh, if you guys remember, uh, if you guys can recall carefully, we t I told you guys in the first one of the first tutorials that uh, each variable, okay, whether it's an integer or a real number or a real number or a logical variable or a character, whichever it is takes a certain uh, needs a certain byte uh, certain piece of memory a certain size of memory to you know store values now by default integer ha integer takes 2 bytes or 4 bytes or 8 bytes depending on the case to store memory and to store some, to store the numbers and we also saw and i showed you guys from the wikipedia page okay that uh, okay i'll show you guys again if you guys want to just type integers definitions and then let's go to Wikipedia. Okay, this will go up to a link. Link. This is actually the mathematical integer. Let's go to this int integer computer science. We saw in uh, if you guys can remember, recall, we saw this page. We saw this page, and I told you guys to have a look at it because it's a little important. Okay, there, there's, there is this one thing we saw. Whenever the size of the bits, the if the integer store, if integers take a larger memory size larger memory size the value they can store it gets increased substantially now what happen uh, now suppose you have an 8 bit integer which is actually a byte which, uh, which is actually an integer which takes only one byte to store one byte to store the maximum value if for an unsigned wherein an integer that does that's only positive is between 0 to 255 whereas for an integer that is signed the values are minus 128 to 127 like that and for a two bit in for a you know this is a two two bit two byte integer or sixteen bit integer okay the value increases to thirty two thousand seven sixty eight and all uh, you can see the range increases substantially uh, similarly for a th for a four thirty two bit thirty two bits integer thirty two bit integer or a th four byte integer okay uh, the value increases to this big value it's close to it's a little above uh, two billion. 2 billion whereas if we have a 64 bit integer 64 bit integer or a, you know 8 bit in 8 bit in 8 byte integer the value increases to as even several manifolds like that with increase in memory uh, the, the, the the upper limit on the values the an integer can store increases now what happens if this upper limit gets stripped it's what is what is happening to our program here See what happens is if you guys just type the value 10, the reminder 10, the initial value term 10, the factor 10, and you have just cl click 15 terms. What happens is after this value, the upper limit for the integer of this certain this data type is, uh, you know, is crossed. As a conse as a consequence, that limit is since that limit is getting crossed, it's not able to print that value properly. And what happens is that when the limit is getting crossed, it, the entire uh, uh, entire number gets uh, messed up uh, when the representation. See, uh, bits uh, integers are stored as uh, binary uh, binary number 
binary in the uh, combination in each and every each and every bit okay in, uh, in each and every uh, every byte has bits and uh, based on the number of bits the each number is stored as a binary combination inside as a binary combination inside so that uh, that combination you know if you want to know how that combination works what are the method that, that they are followed to store numbers okay you can guys just check in wiki or you know check for I, ieee standards or AS, ascii standards a c i i ascii standards to have a look at it uh, it's interest it's a little interesting it's not mandatory required but it's kind of interesting to know so that kind of value gets stripped and then tripped okay it just crosses that particular threshold and after that it tries to follow the same method but uh, it gets confused uh, so it it prints out like this haphazard as answer okay now one way to solve this is because uh, we are getting this error because the limit is crossed to set this to set this limit a little different what we can do is that there is this up uh, parameter called as kind okay for the operator as mentioned earlier this uh, kind can be modified now by default the kind is actually 4 meaning we are defining integers that take 4 bytes of memory for storage now that being said let, let me just compile a build and run this to see whether what we did is what what it is right or wrong okay i repeat the same values that we gave, we gave for the past two conditions i get the same answer i get the same answer by so by default integers in fortran are actually four byte integers okay and that kind is actually used to indicate that these integers are these are actually integers of by different bytes suppose there is a different byte now if i just increase these values to kind 8 meaning now i indicate that the uh, integer now uh, now i am indicating to fortran that these are actually variables integer variables that take 8 bytes of memory so it's six, it's basically a 64 bit uh, uh, byte each bit is a 64 bit byte so this can this allow us to store a larger value so when you're doing the multiplication process during in the uh, geometric progression it'll it'll give us an even larger value now watch i compile this build this and run this okay i give it give it uh, give a, give the same value same answers if you guys notice this time this time it goes fairly smooth and prints everything properly properly okay now that's the power of you know the kind operation what it does is just it, it helps you to store a very large numbers it, with very large number uh, within the same data type suppose if i were to you know uh, come uh, I, I, uh, to give a comparison i'll use the integer operation again uh, let's see control shift t yeah anyway if you guys are in a web browser and if you happen to close a web page okay press control shift e that will open the lastly closed web page it's a kind of a shortcut i don't know whether this works in incognito mode or not but this press re does work in uh, normal mode this works regardless regardless of the you know operating browser you use that's kind of a handy tool for you guys to remember now let's let's play around with the experiment with these okay now now if you notice the bits uh, it's this is a one bit integer okay this is a one this is a one byte integer the maximum value it can store is at the maximum 127 or 255 depending on the sign okay so let's see where this is available so this should be kind 2 okay if i compile this yeah kind 2 is available so it means this is a two byte integer run this and execute this so, sorry uh, execute this let me give you the value no this time i give the value 1 and then 2 and then like 15 terms it crashes after it crashes in the 15th term it crashes in the 15th term because beyond that it's not able to store the value it's not able to store the value and if you guys check this in wiki for a 2 bit integer for a 2 bit integer okay two byte integer it stores a maximum of 32767 and what happens after that is that the value gets stripped by one tripped by one more value and it gets it becomes a negative sign what happens is that this is actually a signed integer that is being used here and uh, the la the leftmost digit is used for maintaining the sign convention whether it's positive or negative it's usually zero for positive 
and one for negative and what happens is that when this value reaches the peak okay that value gets triggered and the sign convention changes so the value gets printed properly but the sign trips sign trips so now this being said this is the this is how uh, two byte two bit integers work now what we do is that uh, let's change this kind to 4 kind to 4 now i compile this build this and execute this okay let me give the same answer but instead of 15 I'll let me give 30 terms 30 terms it's still not crashing so let's try to crash this intentionally so let me give like 1 2 instead of 30 I'll give you like 100 terms it should crash after some time yeah it is crashing watch now in the 31st term you guys not you guys you know notice in the 31st term okay the 30th term is 10 is, is like 10 0 to 73 something and if you guys compare this value the next value uh, this is this exactly the negative sign so this is where it's getting tripped and if you guys notice because of this thing the first value is actually 2 power 1 the second value is 2 power 2 like that and uh, this value is it should be 2 power 31 2 power 31 and that value is getting tripped so we're getting a minus 2 power 31 which is actually this okay now the say now this is because we store the value in kind power 4 we store our you know value at kind power 4 we get this suppose if I were to give kind power 8 let's look at the 64th term or 63rd term and all compile build and run 1 2 and then 100 terms 100 terms now let me just compare this with uh, wiki wiki value I have here if you guys look at the uh, look at the answers we get here at uh, the 64th term the uh, 63rd term you're getting a fairly same answer like 922 but if you had to look at the negative number, it's the same. So we're getting a minus 2 power 63 properly. Like that, there is this there is this one more kind 16 that is available. The intermediates may not be there, but the kind 16 is available. So if I just kind of compile build and run this, okay, I give the same answer. 1, 2, uh, this time this will cross 128, so I'll get me give a value like 150. 150 okay if you guys look at the values here if you guys look at the values here uh, at the 127th value is 1701411983 this entire digit which is exactly the same as this so i think you get you guys get the point okay the, you guys get the point this is how the value of this is how uh, this is the importance of this kind parameter for integer and similarly this kind parameter works in the similar way and similarly similar way in for float numbers also okay and uh, uh, in the next pro next program and all and we use a lot of real numbers and all to ex real numbers and all to do some complex works we'll che we'll uh, we'll just uh, no use kind kind variables of uh, kind terms of uh, higher order to get do some do some you know alterations and all to get the values under a proper precision and all okay that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye